Okay, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be reading Yuri's uh, world-famous award-winning poem, The Raccoon. Uh, narrated by our lovely Bones. So, Bones, take it away. <laughs> we're going to have to delay the reading for just a few no. seconds. Uh, she was eating. The Raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as a un an unordinary human. human. Yes, human. Human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon I that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. Okay, that's weird. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. Is she gonna kill the raccoon? I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. The raccoon is also fresh and soft. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. Who knows? The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy, as well as my knife. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Holy that fuck! That was fucking weird. That was disturbing? That was really weird. She needs to stop. What does it mean? <laughs> Nothing and everything. Um. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta save real quick. I killed that raccoon. Okay. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday. Yeah, you wanna you wanna tell us something, Yuri? You got something on your mind there? I can see that. Did you're gonna get help, right? That's that's what you're gonna do, right? Robots don't need help. Abort mission. It's a lot more metaphorical. I guess. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this pump. <laughs> it's about murdering. Raccoons. Wow, this guy's a fucking idiot. That's right. I murder it's a small bit animals. Closer to my preferred writing style. Uh huh. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through the through the glistening of my sharp cutting knife. Well, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Mm, it's real unusual. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. Mm. So sometimes I enjoy writing about predator drones. <laughs> my love of predator drones cannot be quelched. <laughs> huh, that's funny. Eh? Didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest? Eh. She. She did. What a bitch. Data not found. Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She. She's right, except that I totally hurt people. Except I'm hurting small raccoons. <laughs> uh, I mean. Oh god, oh god. Does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. You want to tell us that's, more about it, Yuri? Well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. And my predator drones. She seemed like the kind of person who would report me to the police. <laughs> Can the police arrest a robot? I cannot take that chance. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive. <laughs> But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Maybe she isn't a narc. I don't know. 
Ah, please don't tell her I said that she was a narc. Ha, <laughs> don't worry. I'm also a narc. Ah! What the fuck? Why? Oh. Look at that spike! <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for sharing your narkness with me. No problem. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself and you. Okay. I might be ranting a little bit now. Yeah, you might want to shut the fuck up, Yuri, but before this gets that weird. I'm you're a good narc. Thanks. God. Okay, let's go see Yuri now. See Yuri. Which means it's all me, all the time. Okay. <laughs> oh! I like this one, Mr. Cool Guy! It has some nice feelings in it! Ah, I'm glad. It's not like I wrote it for you or anything. Still, though! Did we actually? I can't remember. I think, I think we, I don't know. It was pretty, it was pretty even In that case, all. we fucked up. Your tone makes it, your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. Ah, I guess you got me! Your writing sucks! Sometimes you know me a little too well for my own good! Where did I hide the body then? Oh my god! What? Your reaction? Oh boy. Well, don't. Well, don't just try and be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. No, no! I still like this one. I promised. I mean, it wasn't as shit as the other one, so you know, you're improving. I wouldn't lie to you, Mr. Cool Guy. Never, ever. Well, yeah, I guess so. What made Bodies yesterday are hidden on the corner of 5th and 6th Street. Thank you, Yuri. What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um, well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just go by my heart. My soft, squishy, beating heart. <laughs> if it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah! No one will! No one! Me neither! Uh... Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, uh, you wanna write something for me? That's so sweet! Yeah, right. <laughs> But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Take care of yourself. How Predator hard is drones. that? <sighs> well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet! Except that she totally likes poems about suicide. Okay, okay, alright. Okay. Yeah! I like things that are happy and things that are sad. It's called being a balanced individual. Happy and sad. The fuck are you talking about, Sayori? I can't see you liking something sad. Well, oh, I like geez. happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a happy, nice rainbow! Sayori. I love rainbows. Sayori, stop. That's unexpectedly poetic. Eh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Mr. Cool Guy! I should go write that down, then! You can read my poem now, okay? Okay, what bullshit did she read? Bottles! I pop off my scalp like- Okay... What? Um... We got that, right? What? <laughs> I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck out one. 
It's she's warm plucking, and tingly. She's plucking kittens out of her brain. Yep, it's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, but it and can't I put breathe. the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams, friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off the bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and in come my friends. In they come, in such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. Oh, okay. Okay. This is no longer a happy poem. This is getting real depressing. <laughs> They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. That got real depressing. That real got quick. real sad real quick. Holy crap. That was good. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but, I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot! She told me that all I need are the bottles! And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently! I see that. Clearly, fuck, Jink. It's almost kinda creepy. Creepy? Well, well, not exactly. Well... Maybe because I'm so used to you being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aww. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I could fill even more bottles. I feel like I was... Okay. I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic, just like friendship. <laughs> You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die! Ah ha ha! Ah You get carried don't, away with that fucking voice. Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. It's why she can't get into a respectable college. I wonder if oh. this is... <laughs> I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Alright, all we got left is Monica, so next time we're gonna read Monica's poem. Next time, Monica! 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 Monica. What are we doing with our lives? I don't know. <laughs>